Hello everyone, welcome back. I just had a quick little story I wanted to share with you while it was fresh on my mind. Um, and that was this, and I'll make a long story short. So um, I had a dispute on my credit card that I was disputing um, and the credit card company, you know, was like, yes, we can dispute this for you. Um, you look like you're in the right. So they said, um, we will send you a link and you could just share all the documentation uh, that we need in order to dispute this charge for you. And I said, okay, great. Um, so they sent me the link and I sent them email, you know, I sent them copies of the emails, copies of the, of the things that they were, you know, needing. Um, and they said, okay, this could, you know, this could take up to a month. And I said, okay, fine. And so I didn't hear anything back, whatever. And then all of a sudden I get a letter saying that, sorry, this case has been closed because lack of documentation. And I was like, wait, 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 what? I, I went on there and sent you all the stuff. And so anyways, I was a little frustrated, I will say that. Um, and so I called them and they're like, yes, it's past the date now and we didn't get all the documentation. And so I said, well, well what documentation is it that you need? And they're like, well, we needed something showing that you sent them an email or, or some proof that you asked for a refund and they didn't give it to you. And so I was like, well, you guys didn't, didn't tell me that that's what I needed. And so anyways, I didn't, I didn't end up speaking to a manager. He was really, really nice. And after speaking with him, he said, okay, I see all the documentation here. He went over with me like 15 minutes. He said, man, I want to try to fight this for you. But then afterwards he came back and said, listen, it's past the date. We can't dispute this anymore because it's past the time. And I said, but I sent you everything. And he goes, yeah, but you didn't send the one document that we needed showing that you asked for a refund. And without that, we, we don't really have a leg to stand on. And, and I said, well, why didn't you guys tell me that? You know, basically I was passing the blame on them because I was like, you're my credit card company and you see that I have a dispute for something that is clearly in my favor and you're not going to fight for me. And he said, yes, but did you get the letter that we sent you in the mail? And I said, yes. He said, did you read it? Uh, well, no. And he goes, well, in that letter, it states that we need documentation showing that you asked for a refund and they wouldn't give it to you. And so I felt right then, even though I was a little frustrated, the Lord humbled me. And he said, you know, this is what's going to happen on the day of judgment when people stand in front of me. You know, they're gonna ask why. And it's because they didn't read. Just like me, I didn't read it. I just assumed that I knew what it was gonna take to get this done. And now it's too late. So now it was too late and the time has passed. Not, not their fault, it was my fault because I didn't take the time to read. And that was very eye-opening to, to me that if we don't take the time to read, especially God's Word, and know what He actually expects, instead of trusting what we think we know or think that we've heard or hearing a pastor or a sermon or whatever, trusting men, that could be very detrimental. I mean, this is just a credit card charge. But we're talking about eternity. So anyways, I'm not, I'm not trying to make this a long, drawn out thing, but that was very eye-opening to me that we need to really take the time to read and know instead of assuming that we know. Because for our souls, that could be, I mean, that's eternity. Anyways, 
I hope this helps and I hope that this helps you to want to, you know, make sure that you're reading and knowing what, what, what God expects from us because in reality, that's what he says. If you love me, you will obey my commandments. That's what he says. And so we just need to be obedient. He doesn't require sacrifice, but he does ask and require obedience. And he specifically says, if you love me, you will be obedient. Anyways, I hope this helped and blessed you as much as it has me, even though it was <laughs> my fault and it was a frustration. But anyways, until next time, see, keep seeking contentment.